Hello friends, welcome to Let's Tutor Accountancy. As we have finished with all the activity ratios in our previous videos, we are going to start with new section of ratios in today's session, which is profitability ratios. We shall begin with an overview of profitability ratios and then proceed with the first category of profitability ratios that are based on sales. And for further updates of new videos, do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. And we also have online courses on accounts, GST, Excel, Tally and many more enrolled by thousands of users. So if you are interested in learning any of these, do check out our website. Link is given in the description. Now let's begin with understanding the concept of profitability ratios. The profitability ratios, as the name suggests, measure the profitability of the firm. They give an indication of the efficiency with which the operations of the business are carried on. And these are one of the most closely observed and widely quoted ratios in financial analysis. The management also tries to maximize these ratios to maximize the company's value. The profitability ratios are used by analysts and investors to measure and evaluate the ability of a company to generate earnings with reference to given level of sales or assets or owner's interest. And thus, they are broadly classified into four categories, that is, profitability ratios related to sales, related to return on assets or investments, required for analysis from owner's point of view, and related to market or valuation or investors. In today's session, we are going to learn about profitability ratios related to sales where we will understand and analyze gross profit ratio, net profit ratio, operating profit ratio and expenses ratio. So let's start with the first one, gross profit ratio. Many times we hear that the gross profit of X company is 40% or Y company is 65%. Now what does this mean? So if the gross profit ratio is 65%, it means for every sale worth of 100, the business is earning a gross profit amounting to 65. Thus, the gross profit ratio expresses a relationship between the gross profit of the company and the revenue. And how do we find out the gross profit figure? Yes, it is net sales less cost of goods sold. And the net sales is total sales less sales return and sales discount. The gross profit ratio is also referred to as gross margin ratio, which is calculated as gross profit divided by net sales multiplied by 100. So the ratio is expressed as a percentage. The GP ratio indicates how much profit a company makes from the sales after paying off its cost of goods sold. This gross margin depends upon the relationship between sale price, volume and cost. Higher the ratio, better it is as it shows the higher efficiency of the company and a favorable sign of good management. Also, it gives a competitive edge in the market. Whereas, a low gross profit ratio can be due to various factors such as lower prices of sales or higher cost of goods sold due to inability to purchase goods or raw material at favorable terms or inefficient utilization of plant and machinery or maybe due to overinvestment in plant and machinery resulting in higher cost of production. The gross profit ratio can be optimized by reducing the cost of goods sold, by negotiating for better cost with vendors or look for lower cost options of similar quality. Try changing the product pricing and increasing the customer's demand and revenue. Analyzing the trend of gross profit ratio over the years helps in determining the growth rate of the company. Thus, assisting in planning, forecasting and creating budgets. Analysts also use this ratio to compare a company's business model with that of competitors. But only on the basis of GP ratio, the entire profitability of the company can't be measured as it doesn't take into account the other indirect expenses which are charged to profit and loss account. So to examine the overall profitability and functioning of the company, the net profit ratio would be considered and analyzed. Let's now understand and analyze the net profit ratio also known as the net margin ratio. This ratio measures the relationship between the net profit and the sales of the business. The formula is net profit divided by net sales multiplied by 100. So this ratio specifies how much net profit is generated as a percentage of sales. Net profits are the actual bottom line earnings after all the COGS and operating and overhead costs are removed and all the irregular incomes and expenses are accounted for. So that is also known as profits or earnings after tax. Some analysts are also interested in knowing the pre-tax profit ratio, which can be derived by dividing 
profit before tax by net sales multiplied by 100 the net profit ratio helps in determining the efficiency with which the affairs of a business are being managed and is one of the important indicators of a company's financial health and overall success a high net profit ratio indicates efficient management and effective cost control and will ensure positive returns for the business whereas low net profit ratio can result from inefficient management high costs and weak pricing strategies a constant increase in the net margin ratio year after year is a definite indication of the improving conditions of the business analysts commonly compare the figures of net profit ratios of different companies to determine which business is performing the best but this ratio can greatly differ between the companies in different industries say for example a company with high revenue can still have a low net profit ratio due to high cost whereas another company in different industry can have comparatively low revenue but a high net profit ratio because of lower cost so it is recommended to compare only companies in the same sector with similar business models also do not rely only on one ratio rather take into consideration other ratios for any decision making for instance the net profit ratio along with the asset turnover ratio can help determine how profitably the assets have been used during a particular period for further understanding let us study operating profit ratio which evaluates the operating performance of the business now can you tell us what is operating profit friends it is the total earning of the business derived from its primary or core business operations excluding the deduction of interest and taxes and so often referred to as earnings before interest and tax that is ebit but the non operating income is not included in operating profit whereas it is included in ebit so if there are no non operating income operating profit will be equal to ebit so the operating profit is equal to operating revenue less cost of goods sold operating expenses depreciation and amortization expenses and the operating profit ratio can be found out by dividing operating profit or ebit by net sales multiplied by 100 this measures the percentage of each sale that remains after the payment of all cost and expenses except interest and taxes demonstrating the financial sustainability of company's basic operations a high good or low operating profit ratio depends upon the company's past performance the industry in which it operates and the ratios of its competitors in the same industry the higher operating profit ratio are seen positively and when a company's operating profit ratio outperforms the industry average it is considered to have a competitive advantage implying that it is more successful compared to its peers and so it is one of the best indicators of how well a company is being managed lastly let's understand expenses ratio also known as expenses to sales ratio which shows a relationship between an individual or group of expenses and sales it is computed by dividing expenses by net sales and expressed in percentage based on different concepts of expenses it can be expressed in different variants like cost of goods sold ratio operating expenses ratio operating ratio which includes cogs plus operating expenses selling and distribution ratio financial expenses ratio an expense ratio shows what percentage of sales an individual or group of expenses is a higher ratio means less profitability and a lower ratio means more profitability expenses ratio analysis might be helpful in controlling and estimating the future expenses of a business entity so these were the four profitability ratios based on sales let us now calculate all these four ratios using an example here we have an income statement of vita limited for the year 2022 can you try calculating all the profitability ratios that we studied in today's session you can pause the video and try it out we hope you all have tried calculating the ratios let's check first gross profit ratio it is calculated by dividing gross profit by net sales expressed in percentage and that comes to 64 percent next net profit ratio net profit divided by net sales so that is 27 percent similarly we can also find out pre-tax profit ratio 
then operating profit ratio operating profit divided by net sales here there is no non operating income so operating profit is pbit this comes to 41% next expenses ratio which all expenses ratios can you calculate over here so we can calculate cost of goods sold ratio that is cogs divided by net sales giving us the ratio of 36% operating expenses ratio that is operating expenses divided by net sales coming to 23% next operating ratio which considers cogs and operating expenses and that comes to 59% and lastly financial expenses ratio that is interest divided by net sales comes to 2% we are sure that you all must have got the correct answers so that's all for today in the next session we will understand the second part of the profitability ratios that are related to overall return on assets or investments so stay tuned with us friends if you are looking for improving your knowledge and skills then do check out our let's shoot website we have courses on accounts gst tally excel business english and many more curated by professionals and experts and available at really affordable prices and if you like our videos do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos Thank you